Hello and welcome to my tropical style garden on a beautiful sunny February morning. We've had a rainy few days so it's nice to be back out in the garden. Today's video is pretty much going to be about Trachycarpus fortunae as a palm tree which is one of the hardiest palms we can grow here in the UK. In my garden personally I have about 19 mature examples of that. Some have grown from small over the last sort of 13 years some were planted as specimens with a meter to two meters or so of trunk so this video is going to be all about trachycarpus so let's get on with it so the title of this video is from seed to weed now i just want to point out by no means am i saying trachycarpus fortunae is invasive because as much as they do drop lots of seed and for me produce lots and lots of seedlings which I'll show you in a second it is easily dealt with so just wanted to make that clear okay so going in here up there I have a few mature palms which you can see are carrying lots of black berries on them seeds so they pretty much fall every year and then down below here every single year i get loads and loads and loads of self seeding trachycarpus fortunae and as you can see these are all pretty much in the first year. There's a few in the second or third year. And this is a result of lots and lots of seeds. Now, this is easily dealt with because obviously this happens on the female trachycarpus. You pretty much have to have a male and female one to pollinate or at least male and female in the area so they could be pollinated probably by the wind um, but I could easily cut the flowers off I could easily cut these berries off my laziness leaves them on and hence every year I have to pluck out loads and loads of seedlings now these are all over my garden as well now me being me I just see what they're going to be like in years to come so I don't want to throw them away so I end up potting them all up and uh, growing them on, but it is becoming a problem now for me. So I am going to have to cut all them seeds off. So this and doesn't happen every year because I have lots of mature trachycarpus, as I've said, and um, I want to plant this up nicer than this. So. I'm gonna to have to deal with it. So these palms can easily be dug out and potted up and grown on separately. But what you do really need is plenty of space, which is sort of my problem. I do have a family member's bit of land, which I do grow some on. Um, but generally to save space for the first sort of year or so, you could just pluck them out, which is a real simple job. Put quite a few seedlings in one pot and grow them on maybe for a year or so a couple of years until they sort of become more sort of this sort of size and then you could pot up separately or you could pot them up individually but realistically when you do that the mix dries out so quick so unless you've got a sort of a place you can keep them and look after them and make sure they're watered um to start with it it's just easier to have quite a few in one pot now these palms are quite expensive and the reason they're expensive is because they take quite a long time to grow so for instance this sort of size seedling is probably in its third year maybe and then maybe sort of fourth year or so at that size they are slower in pots in the ground they will grow at a quicker rate but generally the first three or four years, these palms are really slow. Then you're sort of gonna get up to probably after about 
maybe six or seven years, maybe get to this size, providing you're potting it up and looking after it. Now, another thing I wanted to point out is if you look at this example, which I've grown myself from seed, it's one of mine, the leaves are quite short. These sort of leaf stems, these PTL things, are quite short and it's more compact. Now, if I show you the one to the left of it, this one was grown in a sort of quite shady place where there was too many together. And if you look, they are very, very stretched. Now, sometimes when you buy these from a garden center, they might advertise them online as, oh, you're going to get a three foot plant, for instance. Now, this type of plant may be shorter, but is a much better plant than this one. So this one, for instance, if I planted this out, especially in a windy location, it's going to get absolutely battered and look terrible in a short time. Now, since I potted this up, um, it's been grown in a sunnier location and you can see these newer leaves are coming out a lot shorter than the older ones because it's getting sort of more light and able to grow as it should. But if you're in a windier location, um, you know, if you look at my ones there, they are quite exposed but I'm not in the windiest location, so they're not getting totally battered. But if you're near the coast or anywhere like that, you might want to go for what's known as the waggy, which is Trachycarpus wagnerianus. Now, if you look at these, these have got much stiffer, smaller leaves and just look good all year round, whether it be in the frost, whether it be in the wind, whatever and right from a very young seedling the leaves you can sort of see are that smaller stiffer sort of look so definitely if you're in a windy location i would definitely go for the wagnerianus but they're both absolutely top top plants and i pretty much think they're right there as being number one in most tropical style gardens in these colder climates. So in most cases with these palms, most people would cut off the lower leaves. So there's a couple of reasons behind this. One, that um, they want that overhead palm look, that sort of canopy feel above the head. And the other is a lot of the time with Tracky Carbs for Tonight, the lower leaves, as the newer ones grow and they get more mature, will tend to yellow up and maybe look a little bit tatty. So a lot of the time, they are cut off but as they get taller like that one there for instance it's a little bit harder to cut them off you sort of got to get up there with a ladder so i tend to leave them on but if they do look really tatty i will sort of get up there with some loppers and um, give them a trim to sort of keep them looking green and fresh basically i also grow a couple of other varieties of trachycarpus in this part of the garden one you can see down there which has been really, really slow for me. I know it's not slow for everyone, but for me it has been. And that is the Trachycarpus princeps. This has been in probably, I'm guessing about seven, eight years now. And in the first four or five years, it didn't really do anything. But if you look underneath, that is why people grow them because the underneath of the leaf has this beautiful silver look. So when that gets tall, you can imagine how nice and reflective that's gonna look. But yeah, that has been so slow. Whereas just around here, this is a Princeps hybrid. So it does still have, you can't really see actually from the video, but it does have a silvery tone underneath. Um, it is much, much faster growing. That probably went in with a foot of trunk about let's say six years ago maybe seven years ago um took a little while to get going but is a much much faster grower so that's the trachycarpus princeps hybrid where the one down there is the trachycarpus princeps um you can sort of still get older these palms and 
they've been hardy for me just as hardy as the others over the years so well worth probably adding to your collection so i'd like to point out buying specimen palms generally if you're buying a palm and it's got a meter plus of trunk it will be in quite a small pot and that is because it's been field grown dug up potted up left in that pot for a little while to reroot and um then sold on a palm in the ground at the same size will have a massive root structure and that will help sustain its sort of leaf growth so what i'm saying is is these are fine to buy but realistically just have a look take it out of the pot and make sure it's got some roots i've brought a couple of specimens in the past they've had hardly any root whatsoever and they just take a long time to recover and you really have to keep them watered and you have to feed them a little bit more so make sure just because it's a big palm it's in a small pot lift it out if you can and have a look see if there's roots coming out the bottom just make sure you've got a root structure there that can sustain the size of the palm that you've just paid all that money for you know ideally the best sort of size to plant these is with about a foot of trunk where they're just ready to go a trekking carpus with a foot of trunk the rule is sleep creep leap first year sleep because you've planted it and it's spending most of its time putting its roots out you won't get hardly any frond growth the second year it's doing a bit of both it's building its root structure and it is um, pushing out some fronds and then the third year generally if the conditions are all good it can really start growing and then get to the point where they can gain a foot of trunk a year to give you an idea of how quick these can grow not in all cases but in some cases this one at the back was planted with about a foot of trunk probably about 10 years ago and is now probably about five six meters tall so once they get going and they gain that foot of trunk a year they really can become a big specimen so just to finish off this video the last thing i'd like to talk about is the root system now the roots on trachycarpus fortunae pretty much will not get bigger than let's say your little finger or a pencil um so despite getting tall like they are they shouldn't do any damage to footings to buildings or anything like that they just seem to put this web of roots out that probably spread out two plus meters in all different directions um they are a moisture loving palm do really well on sort of in clay conditions um sun do well to be fair even with some shade um absolutely top palm and if you're a beginner getting into this style of garden it's pretty much one of the main backbone plants of your garden so i'm going to leave it at that thank you very much for watching any questions please put it in the comments don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't i've got lots coming up this year uh, we've got some gardens to visit and um, loads to do in this garden so I'm going to spend the rest of the day gardening and um, thanks again.